All right, well, hello there. It is Wednesday, August 14th. And yeah, I'm starting off the vlog a little different today uh, because um, I don't have a sale until 4 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays now, um, which means, well, that's one o'clock my time because I'm West Coast. Uh, that means I had the morning to uh, go run some errands and um, one of the errands I've also am working oops there we go working on getting set up for the sale I've got everything over there I just need to get my uh, list organized and put together uh, which I'll be doing after after two segments of the video uh, but first, I um, stopped off at my mailbox today to get some friend mail. Yes! So thank you so much for the friend mail. I appreciate it. It's always fun getting friend mail. What was inside? Well, I will show you, but it is a little collection of books and stuff that I can bring to upcoming sales. So let's take a quick little look here at it. And let me see, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get this situated and then I'll be back. All right, I think I got the camera all situated now so you can see what I've got here. Uh, so up first, this is a book collector's quarterly. It is from winter 1936, and it is a collection of stories. Now, $1.80 a copy in 1936, that was, that was a good chunk of change. There'd better be some good reads in here. Um, okay, somewhere in here I saw, there we go. There is a list of stories in here. And it does have the authors. Uh, nothing, nothing really jumped out at me, but kind of a cool collection of um, not like short, short stories, but semi-short stories. Oh, I see what they did. So volume one, number three, the pages actually start after the first two volumes. So that's neat. Um, not really any pictures in here that I saw when I was kind of glancing through. Oh, maybe a little, maybe some little bits in there, but I think that's really cool. And there is another one from 19, autumn, 1937. So this also is a collection. These books are in great condition also. Uh, very nicely maintained. Um, another collection of uh, stories. And this one being number four. Yep, it starts up in the higher numbers of page numbers, so it just kind of continuously flows. So really cool. And again, look at that. They are in just really nice condition. Those would look great um, in a bookshelf. Uh, then, yep, The Wedding of the Century. It looks like this is from 2011 and full of all kinds of great pictures of William and Kate. Hard to believe. What's that now? Uh, 13... 13 years. Oh my goodness. That seems so long. Yeah, that's going to be fun to take a look at. Uh, this one, oh, for the artists out there. A color mixing book. Let's see. This one also in beautiful condition. From 1949. And, oh, it's gotten those nice um, plate, plate pages where they actually insert pictures. And oh, there we go, mixing pictures. So yeah, oh, beautiful plate pages in this book. And oh, tells you all about the color mixes here. Nice book. 
Uh -oh. <laughs> Next is a map. British Columbia. Yep, being in Washington, British Columbia is the closest Canadian province. Then we have Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba as you work your way um, work your way east. And yeah, it's just a, it's a great map. But of course, gotta chuckle over the the lovely Canada reference and for all of you keeping score, yep, there is a map of Alaska in here and how British Columbia connects to Alaska. <laughs> so here's, here's the interesting part. So here's Alaska. Here is the Yukon, oops, the Yukon Territory, which doesn't hit the water because that's still Alaska. And down here... That's still Alaska, because if you take a cruise to Alaska, this is where you spend a lot of your time, in the Straits right there. So, uh, yeah, we, we have the coastline right up in there. So, fun map. Going to have a blast looking at that. 101 vegetable recipes. And, oh, look at this. Old school, looks like on a typewriter. Man, oh man. Let's see what date, if there's a date on this one. 1981. Oh, yeah. They were using typewriters in 1981. But that one, 101 vegetable recipes. And then lastly in here... is, let's see, from the British Industries Company for all the groovy music lovers out there. This is all about the turntables. The world's first automatic turntable. Oh, turntables for over 50 years. Ooh, so that shows you how to use your turntable. And here is another one. Oh, more turntables. So that's fun. Go down memory lane, see, see who still has a turntable. Um, so there we go. Let me move that back up. Um, all right, so thank you so much for the friend mail. So they did ask to not be named, so I am not naming, but I am saying thank you. That is a blast. That is going to be a lot of fun to take closer look at during the sales. All right, um, I'm going to take you up front next so we can take a look at the mail that's going out today. Okay, I am up by the front door and we're going to take a look at the uh, four boxes I have going out today. Let me switch this around. All right, so there are technically five boxes in this stack. However, the bottom one is not going out today. The bottom one is going out tomorrow. Uh, so today we just have the top four boxes that are heading out of here. Uh, all right, I am going to go head back in here and finish getting ready for the sale. I will see you again, yeah, after the sale, unless something else happens before the sale, but definitely after the sale. All right, well, it is after the afternoon sale, and uh, thank you so much to everyone who came and uh, hung out with me today. Uh, as I uh, mentioned it during the sale, we are getting close to my four year anniversary selling on YouTube. It's just a couple weeks away. Amazing. <laughs> Time has really flown by. Uh, I can hardly believe it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's happened. Ooh, I do have something. I do have something right there. What is that? Nope, it's still there. Okay, I think it's now on my eyelash. Did I get it? I got it. Okay. <laughs> yep, you get to come along on the journey with me. 
<laughs> not going to edit that out. Nope. All right. So <laughs> for the sale, um, I brought 44 items. And yeah, we did it in two hours. 44 items. I sold 30 of the items. I actually sold 28 during the sale and two right after the sale. Um, that means that 14 items are still available. So let's go ahead and take a look at those 14 items. And they are right here. Right here are those 14 items that are still available. Ooh, let's see. And not the mouse though. I know I've got the I've got the mouse in there too, but <laughs> not the mouse. But there we go. Let's take a closer look. And up first, this is a little I don't know, he's he was in a Scotty's but whenever I see white, I think more Westy than Scotty. He was at $28. Yeah. He's cute, but you can have him for $5. <laughs> uh, a monogram sugar bowl. Yep, it's got an M on it. People in the chat were saying M for money. Put your money in there. Uh, that is uh, just $4. A, a bag of a one and a quarter pounds of crafting jewelry. Now some of it's in pieces. You can use it to make other jewelry or use it for other crafts. Uh, some of it may be just missing a piece or two and uh, just needs a quick little repair. But there is one and a quarter pound of crafting jewelry and that is $8. Hang on, I'm reading, I'm reading my notes. <laughs> uh, this is a scratch off board, uh, like a poster. And when you scratch it off for the hundred things to do a scratch off bucket list. Isn't that cute? And that is a $10. Royal Dalton. I have two saucers and two plates. Uh, they're a very light ivory. They're not quite white. I'll hold it next to the milk glass. I'm not sure you can see the difference. It's very subtle. So not quite white, but a very, very light ivory. Here is the mark, a fine bone china, Royal Dalton. And you can have all four of these, two saucers, two plates, $8. Uh, this is, oh, I guess, well, I can, I can do this one out of order. I see where it is. Uh, by Boyd's, the bear people. It is Berry Blossoms. It's a hinge box from Boyd's Bears. This one is December, and the flower is the Narcissus. This still has, if you can barely see it, right there is the wire. It's never been out of the box or out of the plastic. It's never been out. Uh, so it is in pristine gift-giving condition. There's a little bear in there. And these came out in 2004. And this one is $12. The little tea set. It is bird and garden themed. There is the teapot. The two mugs. Oh, they look like little barn shaped birdhouses. The two plates are little birds. The creamer has a bird, and the sugar is a lidded bird's nest. And that set is $10. Uh, the dogs, looks like it's composition, like it was uh, formed in a mold. 
Uh, this one is a uh, $10 and it does look like there's a little spot right there. It looks like you could hang it right there. So that's 10. The double thermos. Yep, put two beverages in here, two different beverages, and bring them. They could be hot beverages, coffee, hot cocoa. They could be, you know, a spiked lemonade, a regular lemonade, but they're color coordinated so you can tell the difference. And uh, that is $11. The, um, I believe this is an oil lamp. That's what I think it is. Let's see, I'm moving, moving my spreadsheet down just a bit so I can see the rest of this. Okay, um, it's very thick glass. It has a flat bottom. It's got a beautiful iridescence to it. And that is $15. Um, okay, the um, milk glass hands. One of the sides has, right here, has a little roughness to it. Right there you can see there's a little roughness to the hands right there. Here is the bottom. And the hands are uh, $8 for the milk glass hands. The pair of Scotties. So these are wall hangings. And you've got the cute little plaid. And they are $8 for the pair. Uh, the little plate, that is Cora's recital. You can see her dolls got Victorian shoes. She's got Victorian shoes on the piano. They're both wearing the same color dress. And that's from 1981, and I do have the original box that that came in, and that is $6. And then in the back, I loved the color of this. Yes, it reminds me of key lime pie. And uh, that is a West Elm glass vase, and that is $8. All right, so those are uh, the 14 items that are still available from, uh, from the sale. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, uh, send me an email or leave a comment down below. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the items that sold. I did put them in a price order. So for $4, yep, I had some Scotties today. Um, a just the left, no, just the right foot shoe. A um, old world map in an orb. Um, a fan that is a um, blue fan with uh, flowers and butterflies. And um, another Scotty, a Westie, and the Dominoes, Bakelite Dominoes, not a complete set. And those were all at the $4 mark. At the $5 mark, I have the, the closet centers, the pomanders. Uh, they were $5 each. A stone that we think is malachite. I think that's how, I think that's it. And then I started bringing some stamps. Yep, I've got a bunch of stamps. I'm putting them in bags of, there's about 40, 45, maybe some will have 50 stamps in them. Um, international, US, big variety and um, they are $5 a bag. I have three of them with me. I will have, I'll have more tomorrow, but if you are interested in um, a bag of stamps, again, 40 to 45 stamps per bag, uh, they are, here, I'll get this so you can see the other two. 
I did kind of show a little more of what was in this one during the sale. And they are $5 each. Just let me know in the comments below if you are interested in a bag and how many bags you would like because I do have a bunch of them. Um, all right, so those were everything at the $5 level. At the $6 level, not my mouse, had to move it. Uh, this plate does have a stress crack. It's not a crack all the way through. It's just a very thin crack on the back side, um, but it still, still works. It works like a plate, yep. <laughs> you just have to be, have to be a little more gentle with it, just in case. Um, that sold for six, the stone heart and the pair of cats. The trinket box from Japan, that sold for eight. The um, peacock jewelry holder, that sold for 10. The teacup and saucer sold for 10. The moss rose plate sold for 10. And the um, hand painted uh, yellow rose sold for 11. Um, oh, I forgot. Elvis five cassette set plus a great book in here. That sold for eight. For $12, this uh, Yukago from Japan teacup set. I also had another one of these berries. Um, that is September. And the little bear is right there. And that um, that's at the $12. At $15 was this beautiful hummingbird mug. For 18, we had the pair of horse. Um, this is a metal, probably tin, and um, wood box. I sold them as a pair, so they sold for 18. And then for 20 was the purple leather handbag, and 21 was the tan. And those were all of the items uh, that sold today. All right, let me flip this back. All right, so I um, actually, in between the sale and the video, I went ahead and had dinner. <laughs> I was hungry. Um, so, you know, when you're hungry, you eat. So that's what I did. So I went ahead and already had um, my dinner. I got Joe a little dinner. I know he's going to need a little more. Faye also had a little dinner. And uh, so I'm going to get the table organized. All the items that sold, yep, they're going to go in their bags by person so we can get them wrapped. And then I'll take them upstairs and put everybody in their little bins or, and bags upstairs. Um, I am going to set up for tomorrow morning's sale, for the lunchtime sale. However, tomorrow is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm going to have a guest with me, which I don't usually have a guest, but I am, I'm always open to having a guest to join me in the morning. And Lori, Blue Flamingo Mercantile, is going to be joining me. Uh, so we are going to be selling 20 items each tomorrow. So I am going to, once I get the table cleared off, I'm going to get those 20 items uh, ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then we'll see what else I can do tomorrow, tonight. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what uh, time there is. Now, yesterday I did get one item listed on eBay. I am going to try to get one item listed today. Also, I did set up... A couple of sales. I'm trying to set up a couple of um, live sales also each day. And so I did get those set up, sent out um, all the links to the people who are joining me for upcoming sales. And yeah, and then we'll see what other trouble I can get into tonight. But that is going to wrap it up. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Thursday.